What does a 45-year-old computer and a DJI drone have in common? It's a bit of a stretch for some, but hear me out on this one. Back in 1981, when this behemoth was introduced, it was the absolute titan. No one could touch IBM. IBM was on top of the world. Where are we right now in the drone market? DJI is top of the hill and absolutely untouchable. Now, a lot of people right now are freaking out about what's going on in the drone world. But I'm gonna try to ease some people's frustrations right now and we're gonna work through this. So, the analogy here, the big old IBM PC. So again, back in 1981, the IBM PC was top of the hill. It really revolutionized the way we think of computers these days. Similar to how DJI is working right now. And just like with the IBM PC, even though DJI has absolute market dominance, it's a great product. Now, there's one problem though. With all of the other companies like Teledyne Fleer, Inspired Flight, and some of the other ones, it's difficult to put in the R&D on advanced optics or better payloads when you really have this monster that is dominating and keeping some of those dollars from going across the industry. In 1981, the IBM PC was really the only game in town. People like to compare the Macs of the time versus the PCs at the time, but for all intents and purposes, Apple only had a 3% market share. And that is strikingly similar to what's going on with the drone industry right now. The drone industry is utterly dominated by the DJI monster. Now, they have done amazing things in pushing the drone industry forward with incredible optics. They have a LiDAR package that is one of the smallest in the world. They've got cameras that will blow anyone else out of the water. But the problem is, all of the market share goes to DJI, and R&D budgets really can't justify spending millions of dollars if, frankly, that ROI just isn't there in the long run. So companies like Teledyne Fleer and Inspired Flight, and heck, even Skydio, struggle to prioritize consumer drones in the way that needs to happen. Now, back in 1987, the IBM PC had a little bit of a stumble. And what it did was introduce a little bit of freedom into the market so that other companies could develop better technology. There was more money to go around for some of the smaller fish in the sea. So when IBM had their stumble, just like what's going on with DJI right now, people were very worried about the future of the PC market. Now, what they failed to realize is if you look at that time period, that little sliver of time, you're gonna see that we went from MS-DOS to Windows 3.1, to Windows 95, to Windows 98, all in an incredibly rapid period of time. Moreover, we had this crazy thing called optical media come out. We had USB and even the internet itself would not have happened as fast had that R&D budget not been able to spread out across the industry as a whole. And the analogy goes even further. People at the time really worried when the IBM PC took its stumble. But just like then, PCs had taken over almost every market. It was in almost every office, and it was really becoming a home entity, just like drones. People are worried that this is somehow going to hurt the entire industry of drones, where there's no need to worry. Drones are already permeating almost every industry in the market. So they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So whereas a lot of people are thinking about this as a potentially very negative situation, I'm choosing to take this as a positive situation. We want that R&D budget to spread out across the industry. If you're one of the people worried, just don't. There's no reason to worry at this point. Drones are already in almost every American home. All the concern going on right now surrounds, let's say, political issues going on. The tariffs, the trade wars that are going on between China and the USA, and frankly, as someone who sells drones, we're finding it very difficult to even get a hold of the inventory from DJI. Will the prices go up on DJI goods? 100%. They're going to go up 10, 20, potentially even 30% across the board. But it also means that there are going to be other companies innovating more and producing more. 
we're going to see a market that is no longer dominated by one group or one company, but a whole lot of other companies sharing in that dominance. If you want to keep up to date on what's going on in the drone market, head on over to lsdrone.com where you can go to blog posts, news articles, and we're trying to educate the entire industry as to what's going on. And if you like this kind of content, well, stay tuned because we've got a whole lot more for you. So obviously like, subscribe, push the notification bell as everyone says, and I'll see you next time.